Glasgow photographer Brian Davidson is hoping to snap up the big cash prize on the traders. The 33-year-old is just one of the 22 contestants taking part in season 2 of the smash hit BBC show, which hits screens tonight. Filmed at Ardross Castle in the Highlands, the nail-biting reality show caused a storm when it first launched in the UK back at the end of 2022, pitting those taking part against each other in a game of detection, backstabbing and trust to bag a share of a £120,000 cash prize at the end. Hidden amongst them are a bunch of traitors, whose job is to secretly murder a player every night, without getting caught. It's up to the others, the faithfuls, to try to detect who the traitors are, and banish them from the game, before they become their next victim. For the lucky ones who survive to the end, they have the chance of winning that life-changing cash. But if a traitor remains undetected, they'll steal all the money. Brian admits he doesn't have a game plan, and he wasn't bothered what side he was put on, but he'd be buzzing if he got a tap on the shoulder from host Claudia Winkleman to become a traitor. He said, my game plan is to not have a game plan and take everything as it happens. I don't know what I'm going to be yet so can't have too much of a game plan as it might change. If I'm a traitor, I'll need to forget that I'm a traitor. I've got a bad memory, so I'll make sure I take notes all the time. Looking at other people's game plans and trying to break down other people's strategies. At night I'll be a crazy man scribbling but during the day I'll just take everything as it comes. If I have too much of a game plan and it gets thrown off course, I'll think, well what the hell do I do now? So, literally just take things as they come really. On being a traitor, he went on, I'd love it because I would not be more in control of my fate. It would mean that I'd be on the show for longer, which would then mean I'm in with a better chance of genuinely having the full experience, Terry's more chance of getting to the final. Although I do think that Terry's more chance of winning if you're a faithful, but if I get the touch on the shoulder, it'd be absolutely buzzing. I really would be. He added, you have to think of it as a game, you may need to throw someone under the bus at some point. Even when I was watching series 1 you see that you might have to take out one of your friends so that others think well, he would never do that, sometimes it needs to be done. It's hard to say at this point because I don't know how it's all going to work and who everyone else is. Brian was inspired to apply for the show after becoming hooked on season 1, much like the rest of the UK, and he reckons Hess had some past experience that could help him in his battle. He said, I like that it's different and it's a sort of mystery, who done it, type thing. I am also familiar with the format because every Christmas I play a game called Werewolves with my family which is quite similar. I also want to test myself. Whenever I'm watching TV, I always think I could do that even for shows like SAS, Who Dares Wins, although in retrospect I'd probably last two minutes and then start crying. I felt the same way when watching The Traders and now I get the opportunity to see if I will be any good. And on the game plans of the contestants from season 1, Brian revealed, Wilfred was really fantastic. Although near the end, it got to him and he crumbled a bit. Choosing Kieran to be a traitor, I don't think he should have done that and he could have got to the end with someone else. But he played the part really well, his acting was great. Amanda also played really well because she was herself and was everyone's friend. That's what I'm going to try and do I think, be in the middle of everyone. Be outgoing, but not too outgoing. Be outspoken but not too outspoken. If I can.
The Traders returns on Wednesday 3rd of January from 9 p.m. on BBC One and BBC iPlayer and episodes 2 and 3 will be available on iPlayer immediately after. The show will air on Wednesday, Thursday and Friday nights.